you can do whatever you want after after this session. Yes. Yeah. After this session, yeah. Like, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the uh, basketball regular season. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. Uh, we will have Coach Collins, followed by Drew Haney and Elijah Williams, probably going together if they're both ready. If one of them is ready faster, we'll get around to it for you. We'll start with an opening statement, and then we'll go into questions. And then just moderate it with Mike Lyon. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming back, guys. It's uh, it's awesome to not be on Zoom with these things. So, um, just just happy to get the first win. You know, anytime you start a season, uh, first and foremost, you want to win a game. Um, and you know, give Eastern Illinois credit. You know, they're they're really well coached. Marty is has always been someone I've admired. What he did at Evansville, and it's really hard sometimes when you play a team and you have no film on them. And it's a first-year coach with all new guys. So give them credit. I thought they did some things tonight that we weren't really prepared for, that we tried to adjust to as the game went along. Um, and, and overall, you know, did some good things. And it's going to be a really learning uh, film for us on some certain areas to, to improve as, as we go on to the next game. But was proud of our effort. Thought we played really hard. Um, you know, I thought a lot of guys helped us out. I mean, you see, uh, you know, to, to come off the bench, uh, and, and get the kind of production we did from from Julian, Ryan Young, Elijah, you know, Ryan Greer, maybe not scoring as much, but his leadership and overall veteran, um, you know, ability, um, you know, it just was a good night for us. And we can I think we feel we can play much better, which is the encouraging part. You know, there were there were some things I, I we did take care of the ball, which was good. Only five turnovers, 19 assists. And I thought our activity on the defensive end, you know, just uh, to get the six, uh, what it was, the steals, the 16 steals. You know, we really haven't been a high steel team, but I think that's kind of a product too. We've added a couple high energy wings in Casey and, and Julian there on the perimeter, and and we don't even have Chase. You know, so that's you know a, a, a piece to the puzzle. As you guys know, he's our leading scorer last year, so um, it was encouraging to come out here. And obviously, Ty saw the ball go in the basket a little bit. I thought Boo played very well. And, you know, Pete was in foul trouble the whole second half. So it was hard to really gauge, you know, it's kind of in and out. And, and the good thing is we have we have guys now. When that happens, Ryan Young's in there, Elijah's in there. You know, Robbie had the five steals, did some good things. So um, it's nice to have those options when one of those guys gets in foul trouble. Uh, yeah, I mean that was the game plan tonight. We, you know, we've practiced we've practiced different kind of coverages. I mean, uh, anytime you turn a team over 19 times like that, um, I think you know, even though there were some breakdowns at times, um, you know, I think it it really caused some turnovers. You know, we had 16 steals, and a lot of it was it kind of sped those guys up. You know, and there were times they got downhill on us, and and there's some things we really got to clean up. But um, you know, we felt for this game. Um, that was going to work. And then we made a little adjustment. They had a big kid who pick and popped, hit a couple threes, and then we started switching with him. So, um, you know, it's, it's like anything. That, you know, you can't just have one pitch. It's like a pitcher. You can't just throw fastballs. They're, they're gonna, so you're going to have to have, especially the teams we play against, we have different coverages. We've practiced different things. And, you know, tonight we just wanted to be aggressive because we knew their guards were going to look to attack. And, um, and, and there were some, some things we can learn from it. But I, I thought overall – you know, you look at their numbers, um, you know, what overall for the game, you know, they shoot 37% and we did a pretty good job, six for 20 from three. So uh, overall, I thought the defense was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was just cool, you know, having you guys, having everybody back in the arenas. I, I don't think people – uh, really understood, even though we were really enjoying playing. We loved it. We were blessed to be able to get out there and play last year. It was really weird when the em the buildings were completely empty other than the two teams. You guys can only imagine, try to put yourself you know, in that in that situation. So to come out and have a little energy, to have music playing, to have, you know, not not fabricated crowd noise like we had to have last year, with with uh, with stuff over the loudspeakers. Actually, have some people here was uh, was cool, and I think our guys really enjoyed playing back in front of our fans. Looking forward to doing it again on Friday night. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're hoping that it's just going to be something short term. Um, you know, we're trying to. He's dealing with a little bit of a hip issue, 
Um, we don't think it, that it's it's going to be anything that's going to be, and we're just trying to to be knowing that what we got ahead of us with a long season. Um, you know, we just felt like it was it was time to give that thing a little rest and um, try to calm down a little bit. And and you know, right now it's just kind of indefinite. You know, it's uh, but but we're hoping that that indefinite means a short indefinite because uh, we definitely need him out there. Um, he's a big part of what we're doing. When you think of the performance of Elijah Williams tonight, what do you hope he brings this year? And you know, yeah. have you had a big body like that? Yeah, no, he's unique. You know, and and what's cool about it, what you when you watch him play, he can move. You know, he can get a defensive rebound. He can push the ball. You saw he had a couple really nice drives from the perimeter. Uh, he made a three. And, and then, he, obviously, he can score down on the block. Um, but I just love his energy. I love his personality. You know, when he's on the floor, you feel him out there. You know, he gives, he gives, his, teammates, he gives his teammates energy. Um, and, and we're going to have to continue to find ways to, to, to use him and be creative as, as we go along because he is such a unique player. And, and he can play like you, you see. Like, he can play with Pete. He can play with Robbie. He can play with Ryan Young. You know, you can play him, kind of com combine him with any of our frontline guys, and uh, and he did a really good job tonight. I thought he was one of the better guys out there on the floor. Coach, I just wanted to ask you, name what you saw about your offense specifically. Like you guys took twenty two threes tonight, which isn't isn't a ton. Of, yeah. Uh, maybe sometimes you kind of guys kind of run off this side to drive when maybe there was a shot there. Like did yeah. you think about that? Like anything that you could see improving. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to look on the on the film on that, but but I I've always been one, you know, when guys are open, I want them to shoot the ball, you know, especially if they're good shooters. Um, I thought in the second half when we had missed some, you know, we had that size advantage, especially when Ryan Young and Elijah were in there, so we were really trying to go inside, you know, so we could get that lead, you know, up to where you know we we felt like we were going to have the game in hand a little bit. But you know, li listen, we're going to be a team that shoots threes, you know, because you look out on the floor, uh, Boo shoots threes, Ty shoots threes, Robbie shoots threes. You know, Ryan Greer went open, uh, you know, shot a very good percentage last year. Uh, Pete shoots threes. You know, really, other than Ryan Young and Matt Nicholson, you know, everybody else who's who's out there, you know, is, is a guy that we need to be able to make an open three. So um, we shot 22 tonight. Like you said, it wasn't a crazy large number. I, I did think they were really trying to pack in our paint, uh, their defensive game plan, and they were giving up those kicks. Um, and I thought we should have had some more, really. You know, I, I thought they did a good job. Their big kid, Hamlin, you know, we he blocked some shots down there that I thought should have been kicks, you know, where we got into the, the teeth of the defense. So, But that'll be a good film, you know, uh, really good for the young guys especially. They got great minutes. Casey with 13 uh, and a half minutes. Julian played 24. So the, this just great, great experience for those guys tonight. I'm just curious, you know, given with your lifestyle as a coach, uh, night like tonight, are you when you get home? Are you hoping to watch the second half of the Duke game, or do you have any plans like that? So, well, don't tell me the score because I did record it. So, uh, but you know, obviously, um, you know, with with how I feel about Coach and and his t his last time in Madison Square Garden, you know, I'm I'm not going to watch them all. But I think that's that's going to be a pretty special entrance. You know, I was a part of a lot of those games, and I know how much he loves New York City. So. Uh, uh, I'll probably get my eye on it a little bit, and then I'm going to have to dive into our film and, and get ready. We have a quick turnaround. We play Friday night um, against, you know, Coach Tubby Smith, who, you know, is a Hall of Famer and, and one of the best. He's a national championship coach. So, you know, he's going to have his guys, you know, ready to go on Friday night. So we got a couple days to get ready for that. But uh, but I'll, I'll probably turn on a few minutes of the game. And then um... – for Ryan Young, obviously, mm -hmm. had been playing in the exhibition, but then coming back, where do you see him and his kind of progression back, and what do you see from him tonight? Yeah, I mean, the great thing was he was able to get out there and play. You know, he it was a little bit scary. Um, you know, he had a little bit of a foot issue, but it ended up being more of a contusion, you know, versus, uh, you know, God forbid, a, something more serious, which was nice. So, you know, he, he was out for about a week, and, um, you know, so just getting his rhythm back, getting his conditioning – um, he actually had to extend his minutes a little bit longer than I like because Pete came in and picked up his fourth foul real quick. So I'm going to get on Pete for that. I had to go back to Ryan, you know, when I really wanted to kind of, you know, probably give him a couple less minutes so he can get his get his wind underneath him. But just good to have him back out there. You guys know, I mean, he's he's a he's a key guy for us. We play through him in the post. He can pass. He can score. He can create fouls. Um, you know, he's he's a big part of what we're doing going forward. So it's just good to have him back on the floor. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. See you Friday.
everybody. Thanks for uh, your patience. We have Drew Rooney on your right and Elijah Williams on your left. There will be no opening statements, so if you'd like to ask questions, please do Yeah, Boo, I'll ask you what I asked Coach Collins, and that's given everything last year. Uh, what was it like just to go out for the opening tip and see fans in the stands had more energy in the arena than last year? Yeah, so obviously due to COVID, there was no fans last year. And, uh, you know, everyone just being able to come out, especially our families, just being able to have our families in the gym, I think has been, uh, like, the most exciting thing. Uh, but no doubt the fans are awesome. Uh, everyone who came out tonight, super thankful. And just hearing the crowd back in the gym, it's not so – it's not like a ghost town, you know. So having the fans back are definitely an, uh, a plus to the season. Elijah, what was it like to play your first Big Ten game? Um, it's exciting. Just, you know, obviously from being uh, from Evanston and then being able to come here and, you know, finally playing in front of my hometown. It's uh, very exciting. It's also, you know, satisfying just to be able to finally get out there with the guys after, you know, the whole summer and fall and preseason stuff that went on. So it was very enjoyable. Boo, what did you see out there that, like, helped you get those five steals? Uh... I mean, our coach, our coach uh, always just preaches. Every time someone comes off a ball screen, we got to recover with our hands up. Uh, so I just think having high hands on uh, all of my defensive possessions, you know, just allowed me to get tips and uh, make passes harder for the other team. And uh, a couple times when the when the big man turns his back to you, you know, as little quick guards, you can get in there and just dig it out. Uh, fortunate enough to get the steal. <laughs> I don't know, Elijah, I saw your reaction looking at the score sheet. Just how is this something that's like a culture, or is that just something that adjusting, getting getting able to have such a strong defensive performance? Um, I think that it may, they definitely preach that to us all the time, you know. But I didn't know you had five. That's crazy. Like, five sales ain't normal. Rob got five, too, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's just something that you don't see a lot. So it's good to see that. Them, but that's how they play. You know, they're very defensive minded people. So. It's not too shocking. Elijah, you, uh, Coach Collins called you a very unique player, said he likes your energy, your personality. What, what do you hope to add to the team this year, and what do you think of your performance tonight? Um, I just hope that I can, you know, bring a winning mindset to the team, you know, try to lead as much as I can. Um, and anywhere they need me at, you know what I mean? Like, I think that I pride myself in being versatile, so being able to come in and put me in any position that they need me at, guard any position that they need me um, and just, you know, bring positive energy that everybody needs, you know what I mean? Especially after last year, you go through a lot of times where everything is down and that's going to happen throughout the season too. So, you know, just remind everybody to stay positive and, you know, be happy. So when you're saying we didn't shoot as many as we do normally? <laughs> I mean, I could be remembering wrong. I thought it was like a little close to the Iron 20s last year. I, I could be remembering wrong. Really I mean, uh, yeah, I'll answer. Uh, tonight, uh, we felt that we had a, a mismatch in the post. Uh, so, you know, early on, our threes weren't, weren't falling. So <laughs> we just decided to go into the post and, you know, go from there uh, with the mismatch. And if someone, if they go double the post, then... We'll get. We'll just get good kick out threes. Uh, this year we're just really trying to find the best shot each possession. So whether that be a three or a two, a uh, pull up, a post up, whatever it is, we're just looking for the best shot each possession. Uh, a boo, for, for both of you, boo. Just curious. It seemed like you guys had a lot of passing and a lot of assists going on on offense tonight. And obviously last year is a very similar roster to what you had last year. And just curious, kind of how that like has affected you guys coming into this year. And for you, I'm just kind of curious how it's been kind of joining a roster that has a lot of chemistry and has been together for a little while. I'll start. Uh, yeah, so this team from last year, uh, we're a lot more together. I would say everyone is on the same page. Everybody has the same mindset. Everybody just wants to win. So, uh, well, you know, we just try to go out there and play like we practice. You know, in practice, we share the ball really well. We've run our stuff. We we try to execute each time down the floor. So uh, 
that's the main difference from last year. Uh, everyone's just on the same page, more together. We're an older group now. <clears throat> and I'll say, like, coming in, I think the biggest thing I saw is that everybody plays the right way and for the right reason. So when you have, like, guys, like, on a team like that, that's when, you know, you see them get 20 assists uh, a game and things of that nature just because they like playing with each other. I got one more silly question. I was looking at your shirt. It says, hard work on three, family on six. What does that mean? That's just something we say when we break down every time, like, in the huddle. It's like our our mantra. Is that what you call it? Mantra. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, Boo, sort of, I'm just curious. How, does, how do you think finding the best shot this year differs from last year's offensive approach? Uh, well, last year – and this year we have uh, a lot. We had a lot of competitive guys. We were we were kind of uh, new, not not new, but uh, you know Chase coming in like from his year off of sitting out. Uh, I think he was adjusting to the league, and uh, you know he's a really aggressive player and an aggressive scorer, a, a high level scorer. So you know just finding finding ways to play together and just you know everybody. Uh, I would just say everybody just <laughs> wanting to win is really the main difference between last year and this year. Uh, sometimes it would uh, be uh, someone trying to play the hero, whether that was me uh, or somebody else on the team, uh, when, when things weren't going well. And this year we know that when things aren't going well that we just got to stick together and continue to find the best shot. Just one more you don't have to chop that up, my boy. action every year um, since you came in as a freshman. How do you see maybe this year's role as different or evolved from the last couple of years for you personally? Uh, yeah, so uh, since my freshman year, I mean, I kind of was always just, I've been the, I've been the starting point guard. Uh, I didn't start my first like four or five games, but ever since then, you know, I've just been kind of developing and, and uh, growing into the role I'm becoming today. And you know, I'm I'm just out there. I'm the coach on the floor. Uh, I'm just trying to lead the team and and give my team whatever we need to win games. Uh, that's really that's really my role. Whether that's scoring, making the right reads, playing defense, getting stops, talking to my team, giving them, giving them confidence, giving them energy. You know, just producing what I can produce. Marcus, I'm just curious. You said a lot tonight that the team really has the goal of winning and that's a central focus. So just big picture, like, do you guys as a team have any, like, goals and things you're looking to accomplish on the season as you get moving here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, every team has goals, you know. Uh, but this team is different. Uh, I would say our end goal is obviously to make the NCAA tournament. But, you know, we got to take each night, each battle, and just come out and, and go one by one and, you know, just – Every night is an is a new night, and we just got to come out and be victors every every night. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thank you. Uh, a note on the steals from Cracker. December twentieth, two thousand seven. Sixteen steals tonight, and no steals in two seasons. Wow. Might have been at that game. Two chops. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>